Hey y'all, I'm just busy today. I've been in the kitchen since early this morning and I canned uh, the beans that I've shown you that video or you'll see it soon, whichever. But I've got guests coming for supper tonight. So I pulled out a jar of my canned potatoes. I did these in May of 16 and they're still plenty good. Now I'm going to show you how I cook them. And it's almost like you've got potatoes with milk gravy on them. Now you can cook them two ways. You can just put them in your pan and bring them to a boil and add a little onion and garlic powder, salt and black pepper, and butter. And eat them like that and they're delicious. But what I like to do is basically the same thing, but I add canned milk to them or cream or milk and then I thicken it with some cornstarch and it's like you have the tasty broth that's got the salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder but you add that cream and butter to it and thicken it it's like potatoes and gravy that's a good southern soul food and if you don't have canned potatoes like this you can do this with bought uh, red or Yukon gold potatoes peel them in chunks Cut them in chunks, don't peel them in chunks, cut them in chunks and um, boil them until they're pretty tender but you don't want them to be squashy tender because you'll have mashed potatoes. And then just season that broth just like I just told you and do about half canned milk and half the broth from your potatoes and that way it'll still be rich and good. But I don't really have exact measurements on this, just going to show y'all this method of making a great side dish. Another thing you can do with your canned potatoes, and I've done that, is drain them and put them in like a 9 by 13 or a pan that they'll fit in and um, season them with some salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder and dab some butter around on them and then put you some cheddar cheese on the top and just let all of that heat good in the oven till the cheese melts and kind of browns because they're already cooked from being pressured. But Y'all, it's just so easy if you have canned goods in your pantry. You can make a quick side dish. I mean, if I wanted to make potato soup, I've got potatoes already cooked. It's just, it's just a no-brainer. If you don't use a pressure canner and can, start watching videos on YouTube and get your courage up because there's nothing to it. You just have some safety precautions with the, with the procedure. You want to do it right. But it sure does make it easier to put one day in working and prepping and canning. And then, oh my goodness, you've got a lot of meals that you can fix. It's hard to be 95% ready for you. So, guess I've talked enough, hadn't I? Let me uh, open these potatoes. I'm just going to open them with my handy dandy little pry lid. And put them in this pot. And I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of butter in with them and let that all melt. And I'll put, to a quart of potatoes, I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half of onion powder. And probably three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And salt and pepper to taste. And I will tell you when I mix it up, I'm probably going to put a can, a 12-ounce can of evaporated milk. And to that, I'm going to take a little bit of water. And I'll take about not quite a third of a cup of cornstarch and make me a slurry and when this is boiling good I'll add it a little at a time because cornstarch thickens real fast so I'll add it until I get it to the consistency that I want it so I'll let y'all watch that when I get it all going but right now I'm just going to open these hear that seal that was a good seal I'm going to put my potatoes into the pot, and I know y'all can't see what I'm doing here, but I mean, it's no, it's, it's a no-brainer. Let's, let's just pour the potatoes in the pot. I'm going to put them on the stove, and I'm going to cut me up a half a stick of butter. If I don't think that looks right, I'll add some more of that butter to it. But is it fattening? Yeah. But most good stuff is, except dill pickles and raw bell peppers and raw carrots weren't too fattening but some days I don't want to be a rabbit some days I want to be a southern lady eating southern soul food most of the days that's what I want all right let me get this going be back in a little bit to show you what it looks like okay I've added my butter 
I'm going to add me a tablespoon of, gar of onion powder. And i got to go back over to the pantry because what I thought I was grabbing my garlic powder. i got lemon pepper. I'm glad I looked. I don't want that in my potatoes. Let me get it. Add about a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And that may be more than y'all would like. So this is kind of to taste. And to start with, I'm just going to add a half teaspoon of salt. Because I put, maybe not even that much, because I put salt in my potatoes when I can them. And I'm just going to crank some black pepper in. If you're new, this is a ratchet pepper grinder that I bought at Sur La Table, And it's absolutely good for hands when they start getting older. Makes such a difference. I'm going to cut that down now. I've got it boiling. I think I've got it seasoned just about right. That's a little <clears throat> under two cups. And I probably had two cups of liquid in the in the potatoes so you can go a half and half or you know a little bit more milk than than the broth if you want to so I'm gonna let that come back up to a boil mmm already looks like gravy that is very very good yes ma'am that's good okay when it comes back up to a boil I'll be putting in my slurry and to start with I'm using a fourth of a cup of cornstarch and a little over a fourth of a cup of water just enough for it to be liquid enough that I can pour it in here and thicken it and we'll see how that works if that works then to four cups of liquid you could use a fourth of a cup of cornstarch I've told y'all before I don't usually measure so having this YouTube channel is making me have to measure and have a, an absolute method so we'll see what my method is for this we'll see if a fourth of a cup to four cups liquid thickens it enough okay they're boiling real good and have been for about a minute or two so I've got my slurry going right here these little things are handy they got a little beater in the top and I'm just going to add that fourth of a cup with a little bit of liquid. And let's see how thick my juice gets. And if it's not as thick, it's getting thick. If it's not as thick as I want it, I will uh, make some more. But I think this is going to be perfect. Doesn't that just look yummy? See, it's pretty thick. It's, real, it's almost gravy-like. And that's what I want. My mama used to make something. <clears throat> she called it potato gravy. And when we were going to have creamed potatoes and gravy, she would take her juice from where she boiled the potatoes and use that as part of the liquid in the gravy that she made. And oh my goodness, that gravy was so good. That's what this reminds me of. Mama's tater gravy, what we called it. Yep, that's good. That's just like a, a white gravy. See? I'm giving y'all some good stuff that I've used ever since I've been married and and uh, learned some of it from my mama when I was a kid. Now you need to cook this for a little bit um, because the cornstarch will make it taste kind of raw, like raw flour or something in it. But it doesn't take long and it'll be ready to go. So I've got it on low and I'm just going to let it simmer a bit and then it'll be ready to go. Anyway, I'm going to get off and I'll be back on here in a minute to bid y'all farewell Thank today. Thank y'all once again for listening to me rattle and learning a new recipe or learning how to doctor up something that we've all eat all of our lives. But it makes it easy and sometimes one person will have a method that you hadn't tried before that will sure make it easy. I love it when I learn a new way to do an old thing. It makes it fun. Hope y'all will try this. I hope you're trying the recipes and putting some good stuff on your table. And when you see one you like, write 
the number down and the name, even if you don't write the whole recipe down, because I've got people that's emailing me that they can't find it, but they know what it was, and I don't mind answering the emails and giving the recipes or the uh, video number, but you'll make it easier on yourself if you'll write down the video number and the name of it. Then all you have to do is go to YouTube and put that in the search bar and it'll bring it up. So, but of course, it's mine, so I have a list of everything, and I'll take care of my friends that's emailing me, but that'll make it easy for you if you'll just remember the name of it and the video number, and you can bring it up right quick. You don't have to wait for me to answer you if you're wanting to cook it right now. I will be back in the kitchen tomorrow and show y'all something else good. I hope you'll come join me and visit for a little while. Sometimes I talk longer and sometimes I talk less. If I talk just a little bit, you need to watch it two or three times. That'll give me some watch time. And if I make it a long time, watch it till the end. Thank you a whole bunch for being faithful to watch and comment and visit and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing just as long as I can. The good Lord bless y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow.